Hi, Keith Wilson here, and my love for ACT just lives on. And what I want to show you in this video is, is really something that carries on from a previous one that I've done, and that was how to add images into your database or picture files. And there's been a particular response from an individual. I'm going to keep them um, totally anonymous, but I'm just going to bring up the email and show you exactly what it said. Hi Keith, just wanted to say thank you for the training videos on your website. I just wanted to make some comments about adding images. I followed your instructions and everything worked well. The only thing is my larger pictures do not shrink to fit the boxes. They're placed in the boxes and don't change size. Is there a fix for this? Well, the answer to the question is yes, there is a fix. So what I'm going to very briefly do is show you the process for adding the field to your layout, the picture field. And then I'm just going to show you the impact that the default setting has and then also show you exactly how you, you get that picture either to stretch or shrink to fit the size of the field that you place on your layout. So the first thing we need to do is from the tools menu go to design layouts. I'm working in the contact layout but obviously if you wanted to add your picture field to the group company or opportunity layout then you would choose one of these other options here. So I'm going to choose that. And just so that you know, the actual image that I'm going to embed is a picture of myself and David Beckham. And no, as you'll see, it's not the real David Beckham. It's uh, Madame Two Swords here in London. But the important thing is to note that the size of this particular image, it's a very high resolution image. And we're only viewing this at 25%. But if we go 100%, you'll see it's absolutely enormous. So that would just be ridiculous to actually have that display at that size on your layout. But I'm just going to, again, show you the default setting, and then I'm going to show you how we actually get that to fit our field. So the first step is to choose picture field from the toolbox, single click it, and then drag roughly the size of the image that you want to display. So I'm just going to leave it at that sort of size. And when we let go, as normal within the layouts, ACT shows you all of the fields that aren't currently displayed on this layout for that particular field format. So we've got seven image files there that we can actually put on our layout. So I'm just going to choose the photo field and I'm not going to include a label and I'm just going to click on add. I'm now going to just save the layout, come out and then I'm going to as I say, link that particular image to. So what I'm going to do is find David Beckham in my database. And then we click on the field and then we have the ability to choose which file is going to be displayed in that particular field. I'm just going to go to my desktop because that's where the file is. It's this one here, and as you'll see, it's nearly two megabytes, so that is an absolutely enormous image file. I'm going to click on Open, and that's the exact problem that my good friend had with his particular image fields. And maybe you've experienced this yourself as well. So what we need to do is just go in and change one very simple setting, and then you'll see the impact that it has and hopefully it will allow you to actually make the relevant changes to your layout and enjoy the same benefits that I'm just about to show you. So once again, back into our layout. We select the field and then we go to View and Properties window. And the setting that you need to change you probably guessed it, is this one here, size options. Now, I'm not going to go through the five options that you've got available. Most of them make sense. However, the one that I recommend that you use in order to achieve exactly what I've said is this option here, stretch image. Once we do that, once again, we click on save. Then come out. And then you'll see that the picture automatically then fits into that particular field. And there you see it 
and again the aspect ratio may not be quite right and that obviously depends on the actual picture that you're embedding into the database and another thing if the image isn't quite as big as that particular field that you've got on your layout then again it's automatically going to stretch accordingly to to fit that field so that's how you overcome large images being embedded into a picture field in your database now just before I close off this video I, I'm, I'm conscious that I've actually said the word embed several times during this video the important point is that picture is simply a shortcut to wherever the file resides on your system anyway it does not embed that picture into the attachments folder of your database it's simply a shortcut to a file that exists somewhere else on your system so it's very very important that you understand that you're not going to be clogging up your system with lots and lots of image files so hopefully that's been of value to you please take this on board implement this this training into your own system and hopefully you'll see great benefit and, and please let me know the feedback because uh, i love hearing exactly how you're getting on that's it it's keith wilson here take care and i'll talk to you again very very soon